Enix out. We're going to work it down the best we can and get as much of the gold as we, we can get out of here. You'll see we've got this really super fine gold and what we'll do is just push it into a pile. Just like that. And use a snuffer just to get it out of our pan. Sometimes you can see a little better. And then lay it out. Holy shit. Sorry. I can say wow. You can if you wish. <laughs> But then it's just a, a, a process, just moving the black sand away uh -huh. and repeat the process. So you'll see I'm trying to get clean gold up there at the top, just slowly working the black sand out. And when I've got it worked out, I'll brush it into a pile. It's actually pretty cool, Bob. I've never tried that technique before. Yeah, the, the finer the gold is, the uh, harder it is to get it to play nice. Yeah. See, so actually, I had an easy time with the fine stuff, huh? I think you've done this a couple times before. Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where I want to spend my time rather than playing with smoothing it into a concentrator. Yeah. And here you know you caught everything too. This is the cool. payoff. So I'm just continuing to work it. You can see there's still some nice coarse gold in there. Let me zoom in on that real quick, Bob. Hang on. Okay. And a lot of that's that gnome gold, huh? Yeah, the really, really fine stuff is the gnome gold. Okay. Now this coarser stuff, we never see anything like that up there. I mean, that's incredibly coarse gold. It would be for up there, huh? Yeah. This is Yuba gold, the coarser stuff. At one point, I would probably do one more classification just to clean this up, but I'm going to take out the majority of it and get it into my snuffer bottle here. Having one that won't fit up your uh, snuffer bottle is actually a very good problem. Yeah, it just shows, a, that just shows you got to classify it down a little further, that's right. all. So I've got a few there that won't go through. Again, good problem to have. Yeah. Okay, so as we go through this, each time we will end up with a nice little pile of gold to snuffer up, and we've got less and less of the material. You'll see there's some nice rocks here that we've, um, as we've panned, we've moved into the corner. We'll just scrape those up and take them out of the pan. And now it's just a process of repeat and repeat until you get down to where no visible gold yeah. is left. That last tablespoon at the end of the process um, is going to have some gold you can't see on it. That's the material I take. Put it in the sluice next time I run and you'll just have it in your next run. So that's the process. Hope you enjoy your machine.